Hello guys, today we are going to prepare sheets for our architectural plan so that we can submit it to our client. For all this time we have been making plans in our large infinite model space. We can make as many as plans and objects in this space that we want to. But when it comes to printing the plans onto sheets, we are limited by the paper size. We cannot print all the plans into a single small size paper as prints will be too small to read from. So let's see how we choose the right paper size for home plans and prepare sheet layouts in them. Sheets come in variety of sizes ranging from A10 to A0, A10 being the smallest and A0 being the biggest. The most common sheets used by engineers are A1, A2 and A3. Among these A3 is the most used one for the simple house plans ranging from G plus 1 to G plus 3. A1 and A2 sheets are used for multi-story building projects or government work having large square fit area. Here you can see a giant HP design printer. which has started printing our A1 sheet. A large size printing head is printing the sheet in a horizontal fashion. Here you can see our front elevation has started taking shape. Once the printer completes the printing process, it will cut the sheet with a sharp tool. This will separate our sheet from the roll. Printing the sheet like this on a large size paper makes it very easy for the client to have a clear idea about his front elevation. Here you can see our print came out of a multifunction Konica printer on an A3 sheet. Here you can also see sheets are looking quite professional due to wall and column highlightment with light grey furniture, sanitary items and title blocks. The sheet is now ready and will be submitted to our client. In the same way we will print the other floor plans as well using the quick previous plot option from the printer window. The second one for the first floor and second floor. and then last the terrace floor. Guys we have successfully completed our architectural plan of this G plus 2 residential plus commercial building. In order for the construction to start taking place we now have to submit the structural layout for footing, beams, columns, slabs. So let's move on to the next section of this course. See you in the next section.